So why are you always with Eric? Is he your kind of guy? Yo, hey guy. he was feeding me with both. But, uh, there was no sexual intercourse. Okay. Oh yeah. To be honest, I didn't think I was going to make a video today, but because of the media rounds from Katrina and Lilo, I thought why not just tell you guys what's been happening so far. So we're going to do a catch up with Katrina and Lilo, and then go into the house just see the conversations they've had, and we share it together. As usual, when you get evicted from Big Brother House, you go to so many interviews. So Katrina and Lilo were at Beat FM today. See for Lilo, they asked her about Eric, and then she was like, Eric was just feeding her BS in that house, so that she got carried away. Well, Eric deceived her. You friends. guys were kissing. That was. He was was grabbing your behind. <laughs> you, did you think you were going to go further than like what you guys had done, kissing and making out and stuff? She said, No, we didn't. We're supposed to be friends. And before you know, you started getting deeper. But national TV, no, she wouldn't. Mom, I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. No. <laughs> no, we never had sex. Because <laughs> no. I have a boyfriend. Because okay. I wouldn't do that on the on show. On national TV. Yeah. Okay. The interviewer was like, That your boyfriend is a strong man. That is, so is this, are you guys still together? She's like, Yes. Yeah. So he's a better man than me. So no, are, you still, are you still in a relationship right now? Of course I am. We're, but we're dealing with it. The final question is usually, so what are your plans for the future and she's like my my brand my that what i'm wearing now and interviewers like what are you wearing now do you mean your undies or your outfits and she's like my dress my dress is my brand so i'm going to focus on that and then um i also want the world to see who lilo is i'm like you've gone out of the house you now want us to see who you are is it on your live instagram or what like when you're in the house you're under someone's umbrella now you want to <laughs> go you're, you're you've evicted you're not trying to say you want to see who you are that's so she, hopefully brands and labels will give her endorsements and they'll see who she is and then she's going to bring her brand Brand, put her brand as a focus of everything so people will like buy the brand and stuff like that anyway she's wearing the dress they're like oh, the dress is pretty yeah, your lashes are pretty as well she's like thank you then uh, while she was in the interview she was actually on her live i guess talking to her fans and asked her what are the name what do you call your fans she's like we, i call them little little lovers little lovers like where you don't have the name she said yeah she formed the name only first come out they were like yeah they took the name so them they're now using the name as well so that's her who she thought was going to win and she said she thought also cursing a lot like lilo kept cursing in the interview and like she kept saying first of all she yo yo some little thing yo yo then the point is she's a bitch she's a she like she did that a lot. at some point they had to tell her that please this radio like can you like you don't calm down she's like oh she like, babe, like, it's your mouth that's filled up with curse words. Anywho, they asked her who she thought was going to win, and she said, Ozo or Kidwaya, but she doesn't really care because she's no more in the game. One of the important questions they asked Katrina was, how come she was so proud of her, um, what she had done to her body? She's like, yeah, that when I had my baby, I didn't like the way my body looked, so I had to do something about it. So we asked her, what exactly did you do? She said, I did liposuction, which is fat removal from the tummy, and then she did transfer which is taking the fat up to put in her bum like okay no wonder your bum was really nice it was really jiggling and stuff she's like yes and she likes her body right now and then she's so proud because it is expensive today so uh if you're following us on twitter yes uh, make sure you check that out right now that's at the beat 999 fm uh definitely we just put out something uh so uh, make sure you just follow us on twitter and actually just figure out what's going on right now so hey uh, ladies and gentlemen give it up right now we have katrina and uh, lilo in the building how you guys doing hey, hey. hey. hi 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 yeah good to be here okay sure 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 <laughs> uh, so um uh, this, is the f this is your first interview since you've left the Big Brother Nigeria house, right? Um, um kinda, but okay. I mean, not really. Yeah. <laughs> No, okay. we, we had a few already. Okay, you had a few. Okay, well, fantastic. So, uh, basically, we're just going to just jump right into it. You guys look, uh, you know, fantastic, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, so much. sure. So, Lilo, um, let me start with Lilo. Lilo oh. what's, yeah, what's with that sweater that you wore on Sunday? You didn't Bruh. think you were going to. You, 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 you didn't think you were going to leave. Bra. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like, ah, why are you looking like you know somebody's widow? Or, like, Yo. I'm heading to the evil forest or something. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't. Think I was leaving the house that early. Really? I wasn't ready. I, you know, it caught you by surprise. Brah, I, I never expected it. <laughs> <laughs> I never did. Yeah, but I mean, it happened. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. So to Katrina, how you doing? I'm very well. Okay, thank sure. you. I've missed you in the house. I love the fact that you know you just brought that. Uh, what's the word right now? Um, that extra vibe. Yeah, every, the yeah. energy. <laughs> and you're beautiful to look at. Wow. Uh, you know, you're dropping in low every time. So it was, you know, I was like, yes, this is a reason to pay for my DSTV. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much. I Thank know. You. So um, you're pretty close to Lucy and the both of you bonded and, you know, more than anybody in the house. So do you think that actually affected your chances, uh, you know, from uh, of winning uh, the Big Brother, uh, Big Brother Nigeria? Absolutely not. Um, it's a game and definitely one person will uh, 
will be the winner. Um, I love Lucy. She's a nice person. Mm -hmm. She's open-minded. And I I feel we're going to do better outside the house as friends. Um, I love her and I don't think she was the reason why I got evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh, okay, 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 great. So, uh, your fight with Tolani. Yeah, what was that about though? <laughs> it wasn't a fight. So it's just, it? Yeah, just it a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> it is just a misunderstanding. She, is that what you call it now? Yeah, it is a misunderstanding. It's not a fight. Not a fight. It's a misunderstanding. Yeah. When well, she was raising her voice and she was like, oh, don't talk to me like that. I'm like, I was just like, that, you know, that sounded pretty much way yeah. more than a misunderstanding. It's expected in a house okay. where you have lots of people together. But I'm out from the house now and I don't want to dwell on all the in bad energy. I, I'm just uh, bad on. energy. Stay yeah. far away. <laughs> Stay far away. No, you know, Moving right. on, yeah. Okay, so your praise, uh, you know, uh, seem pretty close. Uh, so, is there anything, you know, going on there? Are, are you guys looking to push forward, like maybe a relationship or something? Absolutely not. Why? There is it's not no, your spec. There is no relationship. It's not your, is it your type? Uh, can I? Can I come? <laughs> can I just? Can I explain myself here? Yeah. Please go ahead. Praise, praise was my first uh, favorite housemate when we got into the house. We got along so well. Um, he's a nice person. Um, he's he's true to his career, and I love his energy. I am open to be friends with him outside the house. He is open to that. But outside that, um, I don't. We don't. We. There is no relationship between I and uh, Praise because he's not my spec. He's younger. I don't do younger men. Yeah. What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> We're going to get back to that because okay. I'm an older guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, uh, so, what's your spec? So, what kind of guys like um, between uh, what's, your, what's the age range of the guys you actually uh, hang out with? Um, let's say the the list should be from 40 45. 40 45? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you know yeah. this thing that they do right now? Well, you know this thing that people do these days that they say, oh, I identify as a woman or as a guy or anything. So I'm identified as a 45 year old guy this morning. Oh. Speaking for Katrina. Okay, so now to Lilo. Lilo, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah, you look beautiful, by the way. I love your lashes. Thank you so Can much. You just bat them for me. Just, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, hey. Thank you so much. Yeah, great. So, um, by the way, so Lilo, did you have a strategy actually going into the house? Um, I wouldn't really say a strategy, but I know like I'm a strategy myself, I so see. I was going in to be myself. Okay. Yeah. I see. I was, yeah. So you mentioned having a boyfriend, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, what was all that, um? Thing going on with Eric. What's, Yo. what's, what's that about? <laughs> so I mean, it wasn't supposed to be anything serious because ah. we started off as you friends. guys were kissing. That was he was grabbing your behind. <laughs> when wait 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 when Ibuka showed your reel, your highlight reel, it was Eric all through. Also, I know, so, I, mean, I know. Does Lilo's boyfriend have this thing? Is he watching? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I, I promise you, you saw the whole thing, yeah. man. Yeah, I so know. Are you, still in, I know. are you still in a relationship right now? Of course I am, um, yes. Uh -huh. 100%. So, are you, do you guys have this um, uh, Will and Jada thing going on? Or you guys have like a real, real relationship? A real, real relationship. So, it has no issues with, you know. Of course, we're like, we're, but we're dealing with it. That that doesn't mean like we're okay. not together anymore. Okay. Yeah, so and, yeah. We're finished on the doctor, though. You know, like, <laughs> give me my number, you know. Of course. Yeah, I'm a guru in things like this. Thank you. <laughs> I'll definitely. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so, did you form any lasting friendships in the house, aside from, um, uh, you know, your lips being on uh, Eric's lips? So. Um, <laughs> I would say, um, I think I did. Like, I felt like a lot of people wanted to, like, be my friend, but why? I... Why would, you, why would you think? Um, yeah, why is that? I got the vibes, and maybe I just, um, you know, didn't pay so much attention to it. Like, looking back at it, and, I mean, coming out of the house, mm -hmm. and, like, seeing, like, you know, what like the housemate said about me and whatnot. Like I could see like some people tried to be my friend. Even some of them tried to talk to me like, why are you always with Eric whatnot? But like yeah, so So why are you always with Eric Is he your kind of guy? Yo <laughs> But is he your kind of guy? He was feeding me with bullshit man but like, <laughs> Ah radio that means radio Radio yeah because even if I get fired I'll send I'll send the bill to you and Chima <laughs> Just yeah. <laughs> so he was he was filling your head with rubbish. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what guys that don't have headlines. That's what they do. You stay get away me. from them. You yeah. Get me. So once yeah. a guy doesn't have a headline like Bjorn, yeah. like, just stay away from them. They yeah. have nothing. I know. So, yeah, because you guys looked like you know it was going to. Did you think that maybe you could have gotten you know hotter than it was if you spent maybe an extra two weeks in the house? Between me and him. Yeah. Um. Might be yeah. Pregnant by now. No, we never had sex. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> 
No. So you guys just made out no sex, nothing? No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but were you open to the possibility of, you know, sex or something? No. Why? Because we... Because, no, I wouldn't. Why? Like, for so many reasons, like... Indeed. Okay, give me two. Your, your top Because <laughs> I have a boyfriend okay. and because I wouldn't do that on the on show. On national TV? Yeah. <laughs> There's something called duvet, according nah. to my boys, <laughs> you know, way back in the village. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the fact that it's national TV and you have a boyfriend. Yeah. So, okay, cool. So, Katrina, hi. Yeah, I'm back to Katrina. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Trust okay. me, man. I watch you at all those Saturday parties and then <laughs> my popcorn <laughs> and my bottle of drink. I'm like, go down, girl. <laughs> Get on with your bad self. So you talk, you know, openly as you guys said, you know, you've had work done on your body, right? Yes, please. Yes, and you're really open about that. And I really like that because um, in Nigeria, a whole lot of people, you know, th th that's things that they don't really talk about uh, because they get shamed for it or anything. So is there any reason why, you know, you're open about it and you just, you just carry it on? Um, I, I should say, I would say um, I was really, really skinny skinny and yeah. um beautiful before i yeah. got pregnant and gave birth to my daughter oh, how so, she know? <laughs> she's fine yeah. like it's okay um so after i gave birth i wasn't proud of my body anymore um i had no regrets with having my daughter but i needed to bounce back to who i was because mm -hmm. i love to be sexy wanted and beautiful mm -hmm. so yeah that was why i got my body done and i'm proud of it and inexpensive uh -huh. uh -huh. so you must be at that point lilo just said shouting yeah be please auntie <laughs> calm down with the cursing Katrina's plans is obviously to focus on her clothing brand, to grow her property investment portfolio and to start a reality talk show. So interviewers, I would actually love to listen to your reality show because I really love your personality and you have so much good energy. And then he asked her who she thought was going to win and she said Prince. Prince is her number one to win the money and obviously they had to go into the relationship with praise and whatever happened that night and she was like I did not have any sexual intercourse that it wasn't sex they did because like so what was that now was it like aggressive cuddling she said yes it was aggressive cuddling that there was no sex between both of them so yeah guys Katrina did not have sex <clears throat> And then both of them had to confirm their Instagram handles. I can't remember. I don't think they even gave, they cut off the part where Lilo it said hers. And Katrina said has this official underscore Katrina with the three. Um, that's it. And then she has um, a, she also has a business page which is Amor Katrina. Katrina, something like that. So that's it from the housemates. Um, wish them luck and please support them any way you can. So let's jump into the house. So the house, as I said, was really busy. They're getting ready for so many tasks. Obviously, their wager tasks, they started that one from yesterday. It was something about the 80s. They're supposed to present like an 80s kind of performance. And then the second challenge uh, task they give them now is Flutter Wave 1, where they divided themselves into four teams, two teams of four, two teams of five. And I don't know if there's prize money, but they haven't said. So Flutter Wave is a platform where you make payments from i think something like shopify where you can list your products and then sell your stuff so they are really trying a lot of them were concentrating on the products which i didn't like they should have been concentrating on the platform more anywho they are all doing it they all divided themselves at some point tricky t kaisha watoni and and lakon were just left like unchosen so like what they rejected for and then all of them shall form the team and everyone is trying to do their stuff so as i'm editing right now also has come to say they've moved to phase two two teams have made it other's team has made it and then tonani baji's team guys you won't be Believe even Keisha had to advise Lekon about Erica as well. Jeez, that boy is really sprung. At some point, also, the housemates sat together. Tochi was there, Bright was there, Nengi was there, Kid Wire was there. I can remember now. And they were just talking about things they liked about each other. It was beautiful. Like, you know, people were just in Bright, intelligent. Everyone was just saying things they liked about each other. I'll put a clip of that for you so you see. The little pretty girls I've met. She's a go-getter. Then later, they were all just gisting, still on that table. And then um, Kidwaya was like, Nengi should not even be afraid that she's going to leave because he knows Nengi's fan base. He does know that Nengi's fan base is very huge outside the house. And Nengi was like, ah, ah, you must really be a fan of mine to be saying this, so you can never be sure. Kidwaya said, yeah, I'm your biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. You'll be here in the top three. Aww. Amen. <laughs> And that was basically it. They'd be chilling, chilling, chilling. At some point, they started remembering um, 
Lilo, that how Lilo was not really hugging people and she was angry after the eviction. Kidwaya was like, yeah, that's very understandable because obviously we wondered who you went to this room to go and actually remove me because, you know, they had the power to remove people. So guys, don't forget, today is Ozo's birthday and the housemate sang happy birthday to him. I'm so happy he's, he's in the house on his birthday. I'm so happy he's the head of house on his birthday. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, Dora cleared him yesterday when he was going to beg Nengi and everything. Dora was like, come, um, you are my friend. So I wouldn't let anybody mess with you. If you like, want to say, you want to go and sleep on Nengi's head and be <laughs> following Nengi up and down. I don't have a problem with that, but the fact that I know the girl is playing a game, I would not take it lightly with her if she messes with my friend. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and then click the like button. I love you so much. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.